Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to Sports School. I'm Nick Mercon. And I'm Greg Tuffmeyer. And we're here at the canyons in Utah, and we're going to school you guys on some cool tricks. That's right, Nick. We're going to grab our skis, head up into the park. We're going to hit some rails, catch some air, and uh, show you guys what professionals can do, and hopefully you'll learn something along the way. But like I said, we're pros. We might move a little fast for you, but that's all right. With your video on demand, you can stop us, rewind us, like fast forward, but that's not going to be a problem. Here at Sports School, as with anything that you do, you got to start at the beginning. And to start at the beginning here in jibbing, you're going to have to have a few solid fundamentals already dialed in. So what I'd like to see you guys do is have a controlled turn, being able to make it down the hill. It's imperative for safe park skiing. Definitely. And slap that helmet on, throw on your twin tips, and if you listen to us, have a good time, get in the park, you'll have definitely a better park experience. You pay attention to the professionals over here. That's right, Nick. I mean, I'm a pro. I wasn't always this sweet. You had to start somewhere, and that's where we're going to come in today. You're going to want to have some rules of thumb, some etiquette in the park. So what I want to see you do is when you come into the park, it's a little intimidating. Don't be scared. Roll in. All those guys know how it is to be fresh, green, if you will. So what you want to do, pull up into the jump, the place that you want to be. Look and watch people. It's not, it's not uncommon to see people sitting on the side of the run and just taking in the atmosphere. Take that in for a few minutes. Once you're comfortable with that, Nick, what would you suggest? I suggest you start slow, but also, you know, go out there and go for it. Don't do anything that's totally beyond your ability, but you still kind of want to push the envelope. That's what it's all about, going out there and trying something new and going and having fun. That's right. It might not look like a supermarket out there, but there are lines and there are rules to those lines. You don't just go to the front and check out, do you? No, you don't. <laughs> you got to wait your turn. You get to the front of the pack, you look around, see that there's nobody else heading for the same feature that you are, and you yell, drop in next. After you made your call, you established your dominance, you let her rip. Drop in. One of the most important skills to possess in the park is an attitude. No, not a bad attitude, a good attitude, because you don't want to be the guy that gets high blood pressure from somebody snaking them, do you? No. You want to be the guy that's mellow, cool, just having a good time. You'll get more respect that way. So don't worry about it if somebody cuts you off or if they yell at you. Let them go. You'll be on the chair next run. You'll be back having a good time. And Drop it next. Whether you're up on top of a half pipe, dropping in, hitting a rail, or jump, you need to inform the people around you that you're going to go, and it may be pretty chaotic up there, but if you follow the rules and play by the rules, then everything works out. And make sure that you see what the other people are doing too. If somebody goes down, don't drop in and go and land on them or something like that. Make sure that you know what's going on in the environment around you before you step up and go and try to do anything crazy. That's right, because you don't want to be the guy on the other end of the stick that's laying in a pile behind the jump, do you? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, and make sure that you give people respect around you because giving respect gets respect. So you play it safe, play it cool, it's going to make your whole park experience much better. You're going to find a new love in skiing. You got it. It's important when you're starting out in the park to wear a helmet. Bring some pads. It's all right to look like a gladiator. It's always good to be safe and sorry. Isn't that right, Nick? Yeah, you got it. And when you go out in the park, know what your limits are. You don't want to go out there and just because you got helmets on and all these pads and stuff, doesn't mean you can go out there and do a rodeo 900 or something crazy like that. You need to know what your limits are. Push them a little bit, but don't try to do anything totally out of your capabilities. And if you feel good with what you're doing, the way you're skiing, then by all means, push it but don't do anything stupid because I sure as heck don't want to have to call ski patrol for you. If you're going to be out in the park, one thing that's definitely going to help you out, which I know is my and Greg's weapon of choice, is the twin tip ski. That's right, Nick. Within the past few years, they've made leaps and bounds in ski technology. No longer do you just have a skinny ski with a flat tail. They've turned up on both ends somewhat like a snowboard. If you go forwards, Nick goes backwards. <laughs> You can do many different things on these skis. They're tools. Yeah, and it's a tool that's opened up a whole new realm of capabilities. We can go off the jump <laughs> backwards and do a whole bunch of crazy tricks that were never possible before these skis came along. So it's definitely a benefit to have if you're going to be skiing in the park. That's right, and if you think the twin tips are just for your son, your little brother, your nephew, you're wrong because these skis are great all mountain. They've got a side cut that's conducive to arc and turns, high speed. They're 
they're the wave of the future. You jump on now or be left behind. Now that you got some basic understanding of how to ski in the park, now it's to add some tricks to your quiver. First off, ski and switch are backwards. You got your new twin tip skis, let's use them. Basically what you want to do is turn around, keep your wide stance like you normally would when you're skiing forward, and keep your head over your shoulder. It may seem kind of weird at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Now that you kind of have an idea of what's going on, when you're going to turn around and go switch, there's some definite essentials that you need to know. That's right, Nick. When you're going to learn to carve a turn backwards, you're going to want to have weight on the shin on the front of your boot. What that's going to do is flex the front of your ski, unweight the tails a little bit, and allow you to bring the, your tails, which are essentially now your tips, down and across the fall line. What I like to do to ease into things like this is to do what I call the switch plow. Tails are in, tips are out. Controls my speed, allows me to use my hips to start to initiate my turns. Once you get comfortable with that, you start looking over the shoulder and really arcing the ankles to edge into the turn. Right, and definitely halfway through your run or something like that, go ahead and turn around. The more you ski backwards and the more you get comfortable skiing backwards. And once you get comfortable sliding into your backwards skiing, into your switch skiing, you're gonna, you're gonna go for the jump. You can just hop in as you're looking over your shoulder so you know where you're going. You don't wanna hit anybody, that's obvious. But go out there, jump around backwards, and try to ski switch. It's pretty fun. That's right, skiing is supposed to be fun. And you guys are about to open up a whole new world of skiing out there. You just learned some basic maneuvers. I want you guys to take it out there and just play with it. It's okay to look dumb, be silly. I know we do. <laughs> right, don't go to the park and put pressure on yourself. Just go out there, screw around, have a good time because that's why we're doing it too. Now that you guys are done with the beginner section of this program, take the skills and the tricks that we've just taught you and practice them. Have fun with them. Yeah, go out there, know your abilities, be safe, but most of all, have fun. Yeah, as always, we'll be waiting for you guys at the next level, which is intermediate. Yeah. Baby steps on this program. Yeah, bring it to the intermediate zone. We'll see you there.